Okay, so what we're going to do is start off doing a Google alert for McEwen Griffins. So I'm just going to input, input the information. Comprehensive refers to whether I want to do just videos or webs or just everything. So we're going to say we'll do everything. You can say how often it'll go out and do the search and then an email where it will send you a notification. So we'll create this alert. I now have an alert for McEwen Griffins. So when I go take a look at it, we can see the information that it goes and it gets right now. So over the last uh, short time we can see from October 1st, October 8th, all the way up to the 22nd. So basically the last month, this is the only stories that the McEwen, that shows up with McEwen Griffins uh, that are being indexed by Google. Now, up at the top here of the page you'll see the words RSS, which means that this page has an RSS feed. This is what we want. We're going to copy this information and we're going to go into Google Reader. Now we're going to add a subscription to that search page, so the search results. And we can see here the the query queue here is McEwen plus Griffins. And we're going to add that information. What's going to happen now is that it's going to go and find all the information that it can, which is these this month here of information. These You'll notice Rust Start, Titans, Lady Rustlers, they're in the Wolves, is the same information that we have here. Rough Start, Titans, Lady Rustlers, etc., etc. And when we click on these items, so I'm going to look at Titans Journey, we get a short description. We can see it's coming from Canada.com. We can see the date. And if I want to get uh, read the full article, I can just click on it. And it will pull up the Canada.com document and uh, all the other information that there's McEwen Griffins right there that belongs to that. Now, once I've gone and read a story, it keeps track of it. And this is kind of why I like to use a, a uh, Google Reader because I can read these stories at work or at home whatever and it's all being stored in one place. When I go back to my home page and this just gives me some suggestions of some other pages I might want and stuff. When I go back here it shows me those all those same stories but th the ones that <coughs> I've read are not displayed. So that's great so we can keep track of the stuff. That's why when new stuff comes in it's easy to find out what's been read and what hasn't. For example under CNN I have no new read items. But at some point in time, there'll be new items showing up once news, new news stories are showing up. Remember, Google has set up uh, for you to have e to receive your stuff by email when we go back, uh, when we first set this item up. So McEwen Griffin's here. We edit how often, once a day. So once a day, you'll get an email with a listing of all the different stories that you have, and you can click on it. Um, just as easy to go to the page that we were just looking at. Now because this is just an RSS feed with a, a query in it, we can actually remove the alert. So if I delete this McEwen Griffins alert, all that's going to happen now is I won't have any emails sent to me and I won't have that page displayed through Google Alerts to look at the stuff. I will still have that same information being shown up here in the RSS feed. If you get a lot of email uh, from stuff like I do, I do not use the alerts uh, anymore. I just basically in the morning go through uh, once or twice a day and see what uh, has new items uh, has been posted to the site.